Good morning, guys. Um, it is my morning, but it is like evening time for most of you guys. It's around 5 p.m. Um, I worked night shift last night, and so this is me waking up, getting ready to start my day. So even though the day is mostly gone for a lot of people, this is my morning. So welcome. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Alexis Nicole. I am currently a night shift a registered nurse working in the NICU. And if you guys have seen any of my last videos, you know that I have been struggling with night shift. So I'm trying to do everything that I can to give myself like a good solid routine, be the healthiest I can be because night shift does take a pretty big toll on your body. And so I'm trying my best to incorporate any kind of healthy habits that I can to make sure that I am giving my body the best fighting chance to survive nights. So today I have a really cool video for you guys. I'm gonna take you shopping with me. I'm gonna take my new Galaxy Watch 4. Look how cute she is in my favorite color. Thank you Samsung Galaxy for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna show you guys how I've been using this watch as a tool to really help elevate my health and especially my sleep. This whole shopping trip is gonna be centered around healthy-ish, <laughs> healthy foods that are good for sleep because sleep is the most important thing, especially in my life currently. Sleep is the baseline of your health. And so if nothing else, I can control what I put in my body. And so I'm gonna take you guys on a little trip and we're gonna make a little dinner tonight and we'll do like a little recipe shopping haul. So stay tuned. So Alvin is picking out the salmon we'll be making tonight. Salmon is really high in vitamin B6, which is something that is needed to help produce sleep hormones in your body, and it's also very high in protein. So here is the processed sugar aisle or the cookie aisle. If you guys really want to make a difference in your health, I highly, highly recommend just trying to significantly decrease the amount of processed sugar you take in. I know it's hard to completely eliminate it, but decreasing it does make a huge, huge difference in how you feel every day. Okay, so I love having this swatch with me, especially when I'm out and being active because I love counting my steps and keeping track of my exercise throughout the day. So I've been up for 30 minutes and have taken 535 steps so far. So we are done with our shopping trip. We are headed home. I will show you guys the groceries I got and we will start cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little grocery haul for you guys and show you what I got. I got turkey bacon. This is for breakfast. I got the one with less fat and sodium. And then I got um, just this like ground turkey meat that I'll probably make with some type of pasta. This is for tonight. We're gonna be making salmon. Y'all know I am a huge advocate for celery juice. This is like one of the best overall, just like health improvers. We love our celery juice. I recently learned that kiwi is actually really good for sleep also. This is just a snack that I always take for work. It is a plant-based protein bar uh, by women, which is my favorite. Totally plant-based, lactose-free. Uh, lactose Y'all know I'm lactose intolerant dairy-free, non-GMO, all the good stuff. Also, we got some dairy-free yogurt. I normally use the brand So Delicious and Silk. I got blueberry and strawberry and banana. I got some probiotics, also extremely good for your health and sleep. This is kombucha. I'm not loyal to like one brand of kombucha, um, so I normally try like different ones. So this is Central Market, and then the Kavita probiotic also. I've recently been using the Bragg's prebiotics and I'm very impressed. So I got some organic pasture raised, emphasis on the pasture raised, um, large eggs. So this is for our food tonight minus the avocados. Avocados are a great source of fat, healthy fats, and tons and tons of great nutrition and nutrients for you. We got sweet potatoes for tonight, also really good quality nutrients in these bad boys. We got some lemons from the salmon and then also some parsley for the salmon. Okay, so I'm getting ready to start cooking and I got distracted <laughs> by this watch app. I got distracted because I was trying to put in like um, what I'm making for dinner. 
as far as like calorie um, counting. I'm not super, super strict on cal calorie counting and I'm not like super strict on like macros, micros, but I think it is interesting just to like track every now and then just to see where I'm at and where I could get better, where I, what I can cut out, how I can improve my diet. But this is super cool. So far I took 1,000, I don't know if you guys can see, but I took 1,238 steps since I've been up for like two hours. Before I get started, I'm gonna show you guys, we're making honey garlic, I was gonna say chicken salmon, oh my God. Honey garlic, garlic, honey garlic salmon. Okay, so we switched chefs. I am gonna do the directing and Alvin is gonna do the seasoning. So, number one, your hands are clean, perfect. We're gonna season the salmon with salt and pepper. Fun fact, y'all, Alvin used to make fun of me for the way I say salmon because I used to pronounce the L, which I guess you're not supposed to. I used to call it salmon and he told me that is incorrect. So now I make it a point to say salmon when I'm around him, but when I'm by myself, I still be saying salmon. <laughs> um, one pinch of cayenne pepper. Buying this ready-made garlic was the best investment because cutting up like little garlic pieces can be so time consuming, especially peeling it. And I also feel like having it in this little jar like allows it to season even better. I could be wrong, but I really love this stuff. Okay, so we're doing this our own way because this is telling us to use like a cast iron skillet and then put it in the oven. I'm not doing all that. We're just gonna put her straight in the oven. So I think you should put the, pour some of that concoction over each one and then top it off with parsley and then top it off with um, a piece of lemon. And so we're gonna use, yeah, just like sprinkle it all up on there. Yes, that looks so good. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see it? Oh my God. <laughs> and so we're just gonna top it off with lemon, lemon, and we're gonna pop her in the oven at 400 degrees, leave it there for like, I mean, I'll check on it between 12 and like 15-ish minutes, whatever feels right to us. And I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, our dinner is done. I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek, or a sneak peek, this is the whole meal. So, <laughs> so flabbing at me. <laughs> we have our rice, just plain white um, jasmine rice. We have our salmon with parsley, honey, garlic, and a little lemon on top. And then we have our sweet potato. I just cut it in half, and in the middle I put, um, organic vegan earth balance buttery spread on there it's like mostly vegetable oils and that is our meal thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you guys like these types of videos let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like subscribe and thank you to samsung galaxy for sponsoring this video